I'm Ewing Miller. I'm a third generation architect in my family. Um, I'm almost a century old now. I practice primarily in the Middle West in Indiana and Ohio. There are some things in life that um, uh, just happen. I didn't see myself clearly uh, going in any other uh, direction. Architects usually produce things that are the anchors of the culture in various generations. We have a little tendency to tear down and start over. So many people said, oh, we've got those drawings, well, uh, of, of our house that was done in 1924. But it was a, a reproduction. The drawings had been destroyed and there were no archival systems in those days. Saving the history is important to give us roots. It ties us through the centuries, doesn't it? When the archival system came up at Ball State, it was an answer to a, a prayer <laughs> that I had had. The value of the archives, the value of those documents, are immeasurable to any restoration effort. It's the history of your culture. Uh, you know, look at the buildings and you know what was important to people. I'm pleased to say that we, we saved as much as we did. I think that Indiana needs this kind of thing, of a feeling of, of its contribution. I think it gives them a respect for the past, a sense that uh, they're in a history of things that were well done. You begin to see how and why they did things, and that's why you know, the importance of original documents are so valuable, is because it, it shows you how it was executed. You know. I don't know how long my work is going to be preserved. I think the university work will be there for a long time. They should be open to the students to look at, to see how they were done. Doesn't matter what you do, it dates itself. So what you do is you put the stepping stone there and you hope somebody treats it gently. <laughs>